<laughs> Hello, Internet. <laughs> Welcome to Only Lovers Book Club, where we get together every month and read a romance together. And this month, we're celebrating our 50th hangout with a very special book. Sometimes we celebrate late because we have to reschedule because work is too busy. Hey, Whoa. it was. January was no, fucking no, 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 weird. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. The first rescheduling was because someone had a date. Oh, when? Well, true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it was like, January was weird. I know that every like every time we're like, oh, the month was weird. But can we all agree that it was like super weird? There was a lot of like drama. There was a lot of earthquakes happening People on the in my island. office were like what's wrong with this month yeah going it was wrong. it was weird so whatever talde pero seguro if you you know if you're the real one you're here and you're watching slash listening so welcome welcome back to my channel <laughs> <laughs> hey youtube uh, or the podcast right because we have an audio we have an audio version now doesn't sound great, but whatever. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't a fucking audio engineer. I can barely engineer this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I deleted the app to record the call. <laughs> Let me hang up and call. Let me do it again. So anyway, we're celebrating with our 50th hangout with 50 Shades of Alice in Wonderland. You thought I was going to say 50 Shades of Grey. Psych. Um, Probably should have. But, maybe. You know. 50 yeah, Shades <laughs> of Alice in Wonderland. It's the 50 Shades of Alice trilogy number one. And this is by Melinda Duchamp. Or Duchamp. I don't know how soft or hard to do this. I, I like it. Duchamp. 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 So, um, so we kind of like scrambled up our picks a little bit. So Tashai picked this book. This was your pick. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Nah, you're good. <laughs> so um, why did you pick it? And then I guess we'll just talk about it. Because it's not a book that we can just like... Remember remember the Reckless Oath we made? How we like dove into that? How like... <laughs> not going to be like that at all. <laughs> well, well, actually, can you... Do you have the, the summary? Because I don't. I only have... I have the Goodreads. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I have the Goodreads summary. So, I picked this book. Why the fuck did I pick this book? I was Googling something, and then it showed up in a Goodreads discussion, and then I went down the rabbit hole, and <gasps> then ended up finding... Let's see what you did there. ...the book, and it had good reviews. Wait, is like, that there where were that people... Oh, Drea. Yeah, Andrea! <laughs> Andrea! Girl. Oh, oh. oh, bless your heart. Oh, honey. Girl. Oh, que linda. Tan linda esa negra. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you joking? Or are you like for serious? No, she so laughed crazy. off the screen. She's she's not joking. Oh, I deal thick weaving. Make the connection. Que linda. I'm glad we have like this moment recorded. You know what I mean? Like I'm glad that this. I thought that that's saying was like older i mean what you no i guess i was in one was pretty old too it is yeah, it's, it, it bien viejo, sí. Pero mira, mira, ¿cómo tú vas a decirme? how would i how was i to know there's the first two reviews are four stars and this one says hot 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 stars <laughs> four star reviews to come blah 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 like there's there's good reviews here and the overall review is three and a half, which I was like, okay, I hint that que, que they kink shame. I hint that que, what was it? We we had read a book recently, and in the reviews, they, people they were, were like, they went to a brothel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, man, brothel, siempre van para brothel every time, blah, blah, blah. So I took this with a grain of salt, and I was like, okay, pues vamos a ver, it sounds funny. Fifty Shades of Grey, Alice in Wonderland, there's a lot of, like, fertile yeah. material and there. also 50th Wh hangout do, 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 do. we couldn't plan yeah, better I mean, guys <laughs> eso fue, eso fue i did not uh plan on that that was definitely a Wait, whoopsie chris can you i i don't know what the rest of your shirt says oh wish, just, I, had wish I had a wish i had some yarn it's like a it's an spca oh, shirt yeah. oh, oh I, I, I could only oh. see the ears and i thought it was just a picture of a cat, and it was like, wish I had some pussy. And I was like, wow, it's really committing to the hangout. But then I was like, let me just double check. Oh, I really wish it did now, though. I couldn't wear this to work. The only reason, 
Can you get another version of that shirt and then cross it out with marker? I wish I had some pussy. And then just draw an arrow. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even better. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Coño, I wore this shirt all fucking day and I never made the joke. What the hell? Yeah. <sighs> it's okay. Just, We're all, like, all learning things all today. From my end, where like the wish I had and then kitty ears. Yeah. I was like, wow. I need that shirt though. <laughs> I'm gonna just draw it and then just have it yeah. in my. Fuck it. Go that's for my it. bookmark. We'll that's my new bookmark. We'll sell. We'll sell the merch. Yeah, yeah. Merch <laughs> um, 2020. Psych. Maybe 2021. Right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna read the description and I just want to call out that the first sentence in the description it clarifies that she's 18 years old because we want to make sure that the audience is aware that this is all happening between consenting adults mm-hmm. so hot, 50 hot, shades hot, of hot, alice hot. in wonderland mm-hmm. 18 year old alice is unhappy her boyfriend is nice and polite but he's also quick and careless in bed and doesn't give alice the attention and variety she craves but he's not entirely to blame because alice herself doesn't understand her own needs She's heard about what sex is supposed to be like, but has never felt anything remotely close to what she's read about in runaway best-selling books. Then Alice follows a vibrating white rabbit down a deep, dark hole, which leads to a place beyond her wildest imaginations. There are no nice boys or girls down here, only those who indulge in secret, forbidden, kinky fantasies. Alice is confused and frightened and aroused. Mm. She's bound, teased, spanked, toyed, brought to the limits of sexual endurance. And during her trials, she begins to understand her body's needs for the very first time. This isn't the fairy tale you grew up reading. This isn't for children at all. This is for those with dark desires who wish to explore erotic excess beyond the plain vanilla of everyday life. Follow Alice down the rabbit hole if you dare. Drea, it says it in the description. The rabbit hole thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think she read the description though. I did not. One. I was like, "Et el libro, let's go." <laughs> also, do, you think, do you think this author like publishes these under her real name? Like, yeah. do you think her grandma knows? That this <gasps> is Absolutely people? not. I mean, maybe, maybe she's got like a super cool grandma who's like her number one fan because she fucking loves reading kinky ass shit. No sé, no sé. I would, I don't know. Um, tis a, tis a, tis a, a loaded question. Porque if she's like super proud of what she's writing, like sure, Grandma, read this thing. Like maybe Grandma's super into kinky writing. You know, nunca sabe. Uh-huh. That's true. Um, for the reviews though, just, just to. <sighs> Just so you understand. Just spoilers, guys. If you're listening slash watching this, we're going to talk about how much we fucking, like, did not enjoy this book. I oh, know. This... I, but, yeah, I went and looked at the reviews after I had read it, too, and I was surprised. Like, I just read a couple, but they were all, like, raving about it. Well, so this person reviewed it in Spanish, and the thing is that she's imagining, like, Sebastian Stan as the Mad Hatter. So she's, like, putting herself in a place where... These characters are fulfilling a very specific <laughs> kinky, like, niche. I think that has a lot to do with it. Is like, what are they arriving to this book with? Mm. In like in in the plainest in the plainest of ways. And so a lot of the reviews are like, hot, hot, hot super hot like five stars this is fucking amazing confession i have a geeky vagina <laughs> that's funny <laughs> things like pun satire and parody give me a lady boner mm-hmm. interesting like there's so many gifts in these reviews i've never seen so many uses of gifts in reviews yeah yeah <laughs> like in a review so i was reading this i'm like okay cool let's check it out and let's see what's up uh, reader, <laughs> viewer, I was misled. I mean, I'm sure that like pe- people really enjoyed this. I just think that we. Oh yeah. I just think it wasn't our cup of tea. Tea. <laughs> like maybe okay, that comes from here too. No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. If, if it is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm unaware. 
But yeah, I yeah. think that this definitely like can scratch an itch for certain people who just love like just reading smut for smut's sake. But yeah. I, I guess that I, the smutty parts were fine. I just, um, I guess I'll just dive in with my first, my yeah. thoughts. And Christina, what are your thoughts? I thought it was fine. I just, I guess I really wanted it to be funnier. I wanted it to be like way more irreverent than it already was. Like this sounded, when I started reading it, I was like, okay, this is like stupid. Um, But I can get through it, except it was kind of a slog. It was so long and a little, and repetitive and it was very long, repetitive and not in like the sexy kind of like, ooh, make the love last kind of way. It's more like, can this be over? Cause I want to roll over and like eat a sandwich kind of, <laughs> kind of, this is, this is yeah. too long. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to be here anymore. I need to finish because, eh. and so yeah. for book club, but I probably would have like DNF'd it if I could. Um, oh. so I, I did enjoy some parts of it, but I can count them on my hand. I can't even remember them now. Cause I, tried to I think I read it and I didn't hate read it but I sped read it because I didn't want to spend more time with it if that makes sense and I just really wish it was more it was funnier I sometimes when I read those um reviews or I look at those reviews now um of the people that just they took the (laughs) they took the (laughs) the book and they're like I love it this is parody paramount and I'm like is it (laughs) <laughs> because this book didn't sound smart to me at all it was very straightforward and even when it was like trying to be really tongue-in-cheek with like breaking the fourth wall yeah it was it was um annoying like I feel like I would have just sent this back to my student and been like start over <laughs> it was very like fan fiction-y like it's one thing to do parody in that you take the root idea of something and then you restructure it in a in a like more like in a deeper way but with this it was just kind of like okay what characters do we have to play around with and every character is the same like you can't t- like it could have been the mad hatter it could have been rumple stillskin rumple still yeah like anyone could have been anyone the only one that i think was like maybe a little different was the Cheshire cat cuz he like vanished but even the mouse characters were like hot studs too so i i there was no distinguishing characteristic between anyone, which is the whole point of doing, like, something based on characters. Like, I would think you'd want to play around with, like... Yeah, I just think that also, like, that... that this just be just... Um, that the sex was not... It was a boring. It was super boring. Oh. And this book is straight as fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah. This book is so straight. And I'm not saying, like, it had... But it was just, like, the... I felt like I was reading the same fucking shit, like over and over and over again and i know that like 50 shades of gray is hella straight like it's fine but if we're living in a fantasy world like i guess the only thing that came close and that's why i kind of got excited at the mad hatter hair like mouse scene because i was like ooh, but i mean whatever they didn't even touch dicks so it wasn't even fun i was yeah. super disappointed yeah so. What I did agree. you think andrea what did you think of the word fluid ratio <laughs> Way too many fluids. <laughs> I, like, I mean, I'm serious. Like, those people would have passed out from dehydration. Just everybody was just leaking all over the place. Mm. <laughs> oh. There were way too many orgasms. Like, I, I'm i pretty sure that's, like, not even possible. Like, she would have... Like, she, she was never, like, sore. She'd be like, okay, let me have sex five times here, and then six more times over here, and then three more times over here. And she's just like, cool. Like, she just keeps going. She never chafed. She never got sore. I mean, because it's a fantasy. So those things, I don't expect to see them. I don't expect her to be but sore. It, but it annoys me. I mean, I'm... Like, then I'm like, how can this be... How, like, how can this be my fantasy if it's, like, so out there that it's not even, like, remotely realistic? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, fine, you can write me, like, the best sex scene in the world. That's all cool. But if it gets to the point where I'm, like, this could never, ever, ever, ever happen, then yeah, I just start to get annoyed with it. Like, it would have been... if If the goal was to have her fuck every single character in the book, then part of the 
potions she found should have been like a keep that pussy tight juice. Like something where she takes it. <laughs> And like it doesn't oh matter how sex she has, it's like caught me up so like, off guard. I know what cool, what cool. Well, that would have been really funny. That would have made me laugh. And again, I think that maybe it just didn't. Maybe I'm just not the the audience for this. But I just didn't find it so funny. And maybe if it had been funnier, then yeah. I would have enjoyed it more because it would have been. Was, I think I said that in the chat too after I read it. It's like I didn't think. Like, it wasn't funny enough Mm -hmm. to be, like, comedic to me. And it wasn't sexy enough for me to, like, classify it as, like, porn or erotica. And then it wasn't, like, literary enough or, like, witty enough for me to, like, admire, like, the parody part of it either. So it just, like, it tried to be a lot of different things. And I think it, like, just didn't quite get there for any of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and honestly, that so talking about like the target audience, mm-hmm. there's one of the more popular highlights in the book. They're talking about a, a pun, like a joke about Boulder versus Boulder Rock, mm-hmm. and and at some point the Hatter says, "We knew that we were making a stupid pun," and then the Hare says, "Which we must apologize for. They weren't funny when the Hack Carol did it back in." 1865, and they certainly have no place in an ebook for mommy porn. Ooh. What are you both talking about? Alice asked. Mommy porn is a crude label applied to erotica, read with and discerning intellect, read by discerning intelligent women who seek something more adventurous in their reading choices. The hair said. What Alice said? Perhaps you should Google the word metafiction. The hair suggested. Oh my so god! It's, it's, so then, like, so literally, they turn to the camera and go. Ah! It's so dumb. I'm like, oh god, you, y'all need to stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hated those parts. Again, because they weren't funny. Yeah, but they really, 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 really thought that they were being funny. And there's people, but there's an audience out there that does think that that's really funny. Yeah, they're and like, it was oh, a- that's so funny. Like, ha ha ha, they're talking to me. Which again, just different, <laughs> different like senses of humor. Yeah. Like, I also thought it was really a weird mix of, like, dumb assery and then also, like, female sexual empowerment. I didn't... It was like, you should feel as sexual... Like, Alice is, like, learning Speaking a bunch of, of shit. And... But, like, a lot of the encounters that she's having, although I get that they're kinky, that people find it sexy because they're in a kinky in a specific way, like a very master... Uh, she's very submissive and she's kind of like taking it and and I thought that was a that was cool but a lot of them like they really just border on assault yeah (laughs) and then it's like you should feel as sexual as you want to feel especially when someone's forcing you to put their titties in your mouth I'm like no guys that's not (laughs) let's take a step back (laughs) yeah I I agree with that clothes and they only gave me some shoes i guess i have no choice but to walk around naked and let everybody look at my body yeah and that setup is pretty good but then it just goes on for way too fucking long like you know what i mean and like i don't know about y'all but like people just kind of like if you're gonna watch sexy times sometimes you just like skip to the good parts you don't want to sit there for the whole hour you're like okay let's get to the good stuff and then it was too it was too much. It took too long to get to the good stuff. Were there good stuff? I mean, to be fair, she did, the author did put a note in the intro and was like, if you're just here for the sex, click here. Yeah. And it <laughs> took True. To the- she knows what she, that's she, knows she, she, knows, doing, she yeah. knows what she's doing for her specific audience. But for the purposes of like realistic and kind of more diverse and well-crafted sexy storytelling it was all big dicks it was all big dicks and her giving like sucking dick and all big dicks in the face and everyone had something to say about her tits the and, only like, the only her tits. Part oh my god her tits enjoyed I'm not even I don't even say enjoyed but like the only part that I was like <gasps> least detestable was when the <laughs> When oh, the queen on. was like, okay, boy, I guess we have to kill him now because he was a terrible lover. Yeah, that part was that great. Is, I agree. That's the only part I was laughing and at. And I or love that he was like the bad guy. I love that yeah. the boyfriend was originally, like, then he had, they had to go to court. You know what I mean? And then he yeah. had to prove himself. And I thought that was 
excellent. I'm like, wh- why wasn't, th- like, I wanted this to happen, like, much sooner in the book. Yes. Um, and honestly, I I got there, I got to that part and was, like, pleasantly surprised. Again, because I was, like, speed reading. I was like, I'm fucking over mm-hmm. this. I don't need to be gone. And then I was like, oh, how cool. But then I thought it was a great premise. But once again, the scene takes too fucking long. Dude. There's too much winking, and I'm just like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> like, if you had moved some pawns around, and it's like, she follows the vibrator, falls into the looking, like, falls into the underworld, and the premise is she's in a trial, and the punishment for her boyfriend is he has to learn to be a better lover, yeah. and then all Skip the straight to the end. show up right. <laughs> to teach them different ways to fuck, and that's like, el, el, like that's the court mandated yeah, thing. Yeah, that's how sex games like, should have no, been. Remember oh sex no. games from, from. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what it should have been like, right? <laughs> like if it had been a court mandated thing of like, hey, y'all aren't gonna leave unless he learns to give you an orgasm, and he's like, meh, and she's like, I mean, I'm not against that. That would be nice. Yeah. And he's like, what do you mean? I have a great boyfriend, and she's like, eh, you're not really. Eh. Like that scenario would have been. Not- in this book, he's not even really a part of anything, right? Like, he's just still asleep when she gets back. No, but he's the... And there's, like, a... a uh, he's, like, the the guy at the end. Like, he's the judge, I think, or something. Yeah. There's, like, a version of him yeah. in the end. Is yeah, the but it's, that... not, it's not the real him. That's, like, no. her, like... Pero... Because he doesn't remember I'm anything. I'm writing this book. <laughs> goes, like, she goes back, and he's asleep, and then she's like, let oh, me show you what I've learned. But, but so I think that if if it had been set up where it was like a punishment for both of them, but really like a lesson for both of them, even if he doesn't remember, even if he like wasn't actually involved in any of it in the in her experience of it all, mm. it would have been for her an understanding of like a healthy, loving relationship is one where people respect each other's needs. Like that could have been the lesson to take away from it. Yeah. But that is not what happened. No. And she got railed by every character. <laughs> who all, all of them had huge dicks, except for one, because he was a mouse. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Yes. I mean, <laughs> like you were saying, because you were mentioning there's, like, conflicting messages. Mm-hmm. Or there's, like, supposedly empowering stuff. So it's all her getting railed by all these strangers, and then the, like, pseudo-feminist lesson is them telling her to admit that she's a slut. Yes. But they're not explicit. But she's not in on the idea of, like, kink. Like, she doesn't... Like, there are people who enjoy, like, degrading language. But she doesn't know this is a thing. And so for you to be, like, bullying her, saying, admit you're a slut, you like being a slut, say you're a slut. And she's like, what are you talking about? That's not something that, like is appropriate where I'm from and it's not a thing that I feel comfortable saying like clearly if she's not into it then that's not her kink and you should stop bullying her I know we missed the whole part where they have to like go over their ground rules and then we definitely missed her aftercare (laughs) those parts are important even here she's like the queen is like there's nothing wrong with being a slut but you should own it let it empower you sexuality should be enjoyed not repressed and no good can come for pretending you're something you're not Okay, bitch, but I'm not a slut. 100%. <laughs> but she's only had sex with, like, one dude. She showed up in this place where everyone's just, like, fucking her. She hasn't really voiced saying, like, yeah, I'm interested in this. And also, I like getting degraded. Call me a dirty slut. Like, that that never that conversation never happened. So, to me, that entire exchange of the Queen, of the queen of Hearts being like, admit you're a slut. Say you're a slut. I sentence you to paddling for lying about being a slut. I, I, I mean, I, whatever. I don't care. It's like totally, it's like totally made up. It just wasn't fun. It was just not yeah. fun. <laughs> it's just not fun. I'm like, come on. Okay. So I had asked you the guys this over in chat. So I hope you put some thought into it. Cause I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you now, if you could take 50 shades in what, what would, what would what would but, it be but not written by this author no 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 i mean like what if you had like this is our prompt right 50 shades of blankety blank blank take some beloved childhood book or movie <laughs> and make it like 
super kinky or like super fucked up, whatever you want to make it, like whatever, just go for it because Melissa do, do chomp doesn't care. And um, <laughs> and so, what would that be? What would it? What would it be? And like, um, if you can, if off the top of your head, if you can come up with like the crazy scene, what would it be? I'll start. So when I was thinking this, of, <laughs> <laughs> when I was thinking of this, I was like, ooh, I would do Fifty Shades of Little Mermaid. And it would be, and then what I pictured, because this was me as I was sitting at work, just like drifting off and thinking about what could we possibly talk about? <laughs> I, and then like thinking about like, oh yeah, this is kinky, isn't it? And it's not, answer, it's not. Um, I was thinking about Ariel um, waterboarding Eric or something, like trying to like come up with her own version of, <laughs> now you know what it's really good, what, now what it's like to drown or like breathe underwater or some stupid shit. <laughs> And then she just like waterboards him and then like jerks him off and then waterboards him again and then just keep doing it and then whatever. The end. That's one crazy fucked up scene <laughs> in my Fifty Shades of Little Mermaid. I'm sure I could have come up with something better, but that's the only thing that I could come up with. How about y'all? <laughs> are we talking Disney or are we talking Oh, both? anything. Like, this is literally like the first thing that came into my head as I was like just drifting off and thinking about nonsense. Because I know Andrea said Fifty Shades of Mulan. <laughs> no, I, well, I said Beauty and the Beast or Beauty Mulan. and the Beast. Which I 100% agree well, with be, that. But Beauty and the Beast is almost well, too well, easy. Well, it, like, you think so? Actually, we have Fifty Shades already. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. 1,000%. of Hercules. But you get flashbacks to Zeus being a fucking god slut and like fucking people while looking like other people and looking like other animals and like being all weird and like becoming the swan yeah and just taking being what was her name like, hypatia or whatever yeah 50 shades of like zeus turning into 50 different animals turning into an eagle okay, and taking no, a i'll do because because i think because i think 50 shades of beauty and the beast would be way too easy uh-huh I, I will go I will go with Fifty Shades of Mulan and I'll go with like sexy scenes happening while they're at the training camp and he still thinks that Mulan is a boy. So Ooh. they're doing all of these like like super sexually tense things where like he doesn't wanna touch Mulan too much because he doesn't want to be like, Oh my god, I touched his penis, I'm gay now. So they're like avoiding the the, the down here area because he doesn't want to be gay and she's like, Ah, he said no I have a vagina. <laughs> but like they're still doing like <laughs> but they're still doing like all sorts of things, you know? Mm-hmm. And then when Mulan climbs that tower, then then he like comes in his pants just oh. like watching her like climb the tower. You win, Andrea. You win. You know, for an off the cuff I know. Are you sure you scenario. haven't been working on this? Hold on, let me do a quick no, fan fiction search. A lot of detail. The way I could write a fifty shades. You can. But I wouldn't because my family would die. But you have you to do have it a, like in a pseudonym. pseudonym or something. Pseudonym. Love it. Yes, under a pseudonym. Let's see. If you can be I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> but yeah, I like your I like your Fifty Shades like a lot. It doesn't sound super Fifty Shades. What's the kink? What's the kink? Is that is it can't just be that they're gay. It has to be like something that's like maybe they well, just they're they're training too. So they're so fighting. Like... So they're like you know they hit each other. Maybe it's like those like hot wrestling, like those those hot wrestling oh, scenes. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? It can be like what was that? I feel like I never saw this movie, but I saw, like, a clip of it somewhere. But, like, wasn't there some, like, rom-com movie a long time ago where for some reason the characters couldn't, like, touch each other? So they would touch each other with other objects? Like, he would, like, run a feather down her body. Or she would, like... I don't know. Or he fucks with the orchid? I'm like a hundred percent sure I've never seen this movie, but anyway, that could be the thing. Like because they're so afraid of like 
what's in each other's pants. They only touch each other with like other objects. The arrows. The stop. <laughs> the slings. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. God, this is actually really good and I'm getting you really need to write this for me though like no, write it okay, I would get sued. no Mondas just put it on free of, write it up change the name put it on AO3 and send me the link no one needs to know it's you put it on what pad yeah or you know AO3 is a little bit so then it's like I don't know what either of these things are uh, so it's, I don't know what AO3 is they're, it's a fan fiction site mm. so so que tú haces en el trabajo. No, 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 I'm not going to stop because you know you like it, you dirty slut. You need to learn to be a slut. I'm really not comfortable with this. No, this is definitely what you're into. I really don't think that I am. And what was the premise? That she like literally imagined that as she fell asleep masturbating with the vibrator that her boyfriend gave her? That's literally the whole premise. Okay. Yep. It's all a sex fantasy. So Drea, which one would you rather reread? Captive Desire or Fifty Shades of... Alice in Wonderland. Captain the Sophie's Choice. Oh, I am free! <laughs> <laughs> Tashai, take this crown <laughs> and wear okay, it proudly. Okay, but listen proudly. to my reasoning. Captive Desire, <laughs> Captive Desire had, I feel, slightly grosser liquid scenes, but there were breaks in the liquid. This was just like... <laughs> Liquid, 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 liquid. <laughs> spank it out, spank it out. Like it, the entire book. <laughs> it was no breaks. <laughs> wow. There you go, Tosh. <laughs> you now wow. are the queen of worst pick. <laughs> wow. Right out the gate. Right but out the you gate. You know what? This is actually this is actually super um theme because Captive wasn't Captive Desire our first book yeah. of two thousand nineteen. And then I spent the entire year hating on it. Yeah. So now <laughs> I'm this one the whole year. It's gonna be nice to get a break. And I already read both of your picks for the February and March, and they're both great. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. It is what it is. They can't all be like smash Wait, hits. Wait, which and... one is our February book? Because I need to know which one to read first. Red, white, and royal blue. Did you already read it, Chris? No. Look where I'm at. I literally like. Uh, I need- but I need you to lend it to me. I will. I will. Um, I also I, I also have it digitally, so if I I can lend you the physical book. I read all these while I was in Puerto Rico internet because the electricity kept going away, and so I read a lot of books. I know Tosh got the gold star for reading all of the books before me and Andrea. <laughs> can you can you lend it to me this weekend then? Yeah. Okay. Cause I'm like I have I need, read. It's so cute. yeah, and I need a new book to start, and so that would be a cute you know when I'm exhausted from packing. Mm-hmm. Nice break. Yeah, it'll be a little, nice. little break book. Yeah. By the way, mm-hmm. Bethina, I've started reading um, Little Weirds. Yeah. Oh, my heart. You like it? Yeah, it's very sweet. It's it's like poetry. It's it's um, it's it's not anecdotal. It's very uh. Yeah, it's very poetic. It's like, it's sweet and it's sad, and, and like I read it and it makes me sad. I knew you'd like it. Way. I knew you would like it. I got um, Drea. I got that book for Tosh for Christmas. I gave her the journal and then the. I just gave her a book. I got yeah. I got you the Strange Planet one. <laughs> you both got little yeah. books and a journal. <laughs> Surprise. It's good. You should, you should read it. I think you would like it a lot. Okay. By the way, if we if we end up liking. Like all of us end up liking the red, white, and royal blue. It's then cool. maybe next next year we can read. At the end of this year, there's a book coming out that's like the same sort of premise, but it's like set in the U.S. and it's like the son of the Republican presidential candidate and the son of the Democratic presidential candidate. Is it the same author? 
No, it, it's a Uh-oh. different author. But it's like the same kind of story where it's like, oh no, right. this will be the scandal. Yeah, except even more so because you have like the Republican versus Democrat and like yeah, the U.S. Yeah. Heat political climate. Yeah. I'll only be into know. it if the Republican gives up his guns at the end. I like, that's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the truth. <laughs> I think you'll both like it because I was reading about at the end of it, the author talks about writing the book and how she started writing the book while people were still, like, running for the presidency. And then halfway through writing it, Trump won. And then she had to rethink how this story could exist in a world where that happened. Mm-hmm. Because- Chris, what do you need to do? Stop reading the last page. I was reading the acknowledgments. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about what just... No, you do that sometimes. You read the ending. Well, sometimes I get too anxious and I need to know. Uh-huh. To shy. And then Trump won. Oh. And so she had to rethink kind of like what message did she want this story to have and not have it just be like this cutesy romantic comedy, but can you make some sort of commentary throughout to sort of discuss what could have been? Because in the book, the president, the president, like the president's a woman, like the the president of the U.S. is a woman, and so there's all these parallels of like what it could have been, mm-hmm. but we didn't get that. Mm-hmm. And so there's commentary throughout the book of like, but who would ever make this kind of decision? <laughs> oh wait, I, I, I just went on this one on the author's Twitter. Um. Because I couldn't remember, I heard you saying she, and I couldn't remember if those were the author's pronouns. And I want to make sure before we're oh, like, sorry. no, and and it, it no, the, no, they said she or they. Okay. But um, anyway, the 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 newest thing on their Twitter is um, <laughs> that uh, a new they're having a new book coming out next year, and it says. <laughs> Pitched as a queer Kate and Leopold. Do you remember that movie? Oh my yes! god. <laughs> Pitched as a queer Kate and Leopold in which a 23 year old realizes her subway crush is displaced from 1970s Brooklyn. <laughs> and she can do everything in her power to help her and try not to fall in love with the girl lost in time before it's too late. Oh, that sounds really good. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like half the people I have crushes on on the train. She turns out to be a displaced person. Uh, How cool! And this one is like girl, girl. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, I'm for it. I ship it. Excited. Ship it. Wait, let's talk about. Let's read the what red, white, and royal blue is. Or also, can I read you my favorite review of um, Fifty Shades? Fifty Shades. So, yes, go for um, it. Um, go. Hold on. Wow, where was I? Look at this beautiful nail file, by the way. I have to give a shout out to whoever is designing her book covers because they're good. It's good. Like yeah. the the Fifty Shades of Alice in Wonderland. Like this cover is cute. It's like mushrooms that look li- like look like literal dick and balls. And <laughs> Dude, it looks oh, good. Oh like, my god, I specifically so remember when Andrea got to that part. She's like, all these mushrooms are shaped like dicks. I'm like, girl, <laughs> you don't know what you're about to go through. I know. <laughs> and then the next one, we're not going to read it. And I usually, who love reading sequels, will probably skip this one. But I like Thanks. that it's kind of like vagina. Vagina. It's like flower, yeah, flower petals. Um, and, and, you know, this guy, you know, whatever. A fairy tale for adults. Now, the one for the third one, the one that's like Alice and the Hellfire Club, that's just a that's just a door, and I don't like that. That's stupid. <laughs> what? Where did it go? Read Am I missing review. something? Read your review. Okay, well, I gotta go back. Girl. Okay. Get it. Ready? Okay. This was a one star review. Terrible, terrible book. L O L. I read it for my romance book club. <laughs> at least it should make for a hilarious discussion I mean I get it's meant to be erotica but 90% of the time it was honestly too ridiculous for me to take seriously it's Shut like up. the book couldn't decide if it wanted to be sexy silly, oh, funny or meta and so it ended up just being all over the place one star <laughs> okay. Yeah, when I lo- <laughs> the only reason I did that was because I wanted to count it 
as like I read it, I wanted it to be on my Goodreads. Uh-huh. But if I just rated it, then the people who follow me on Goodreads would think I chose to read that. So I needed oh, to clarify. Por favor, your Latinx, Latinx author pauta. I see what it is. I see how it is. God forbid you lose your street cred. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Dre would never pick this shit. Like, you and me would <laughs> definitely pick this shit up and read it. Yeah. I mean, out of pure curiosity, Yeah, sure. probably. Oh, internet, fun fact. I own this, which is very on brand for this book, because I went to San Francisco, like, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And stumbled upon a street parade that is the Ful- Folsom, Folsom Street Festival. Mm-hmm. If you're at work, don't Google this. Um, <laughs> Google <fair warning. laughs> it's it's like a it's like a sex festival, and people just like they block off a portion of the street, and people just walk around naked with like nipple clamps on, Ooh. and they have performers who are like tied with ropes and hanging upside down and spinning. And there's like a section where dudes were just like jacking it on the street oh underneath God, I just, trees. I told you guys that. <laughs> well, I'm not at work. work. <laughs> this ain't work. And so I was walking around and I saw so many dicks and balls because it's mostly naked dudes and then a few ladies. And I remember I was walking around and I Googled it afterwards. And all of these people were like, Oh my god, I made the mistake people. of trying to find something to do with my family during this trip and I went why to are they all, why are they all Oh my god, amazing. Like a thing like across their chest. What? What does that do? Like here, hang on. Like ninety percent of the guys in the pictures are wearing something because like Because they're leather daddies. They're like <laughs> what um does that mean? Like what is the what does this symbolize? It just, it means that they're into the kind of sex that's, like, leather straps and ball gags and, like, leather chaps. Yeah, I wouldn't see it as it's functional, like, although it can be functional wear. It's a style. But, like, yeah, it's for, definitely, for like... Walking, yeah, it's, like, me walking around with, like, so like on. So, like, this means tying me up. Yeah, because what you Don't do you re- is... What- remember that episode of Queer Eye where they, like, go through the, the guy's closet, the one who's not out of the closet to his mom? And then he wears like that leather. He's got like this like weird leather harness, and he starts dancing. And then Antony gets like really hot about it. Do you remember that? Yeah. That's like it's just it's just a, it's just a mood. It's just a look. So, and <laughs> and those like those metal circle things, Andrea. You can hook up yeah. like a leash. You can hook I... up like a leash to it and put like a dog collar on them mm-hmm. and stuff. So it can be functional, but it's mostly like, yeah. oh hey, look, I'm a leather daddy. Yeah. yeah. But yo. Ivan's like, let's take a walk. And I'm like, okay. And we turn a corner. And it, we're sticks, like, who's sticks, street sticks, fair? Sticks, 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 <laughs> sticks, 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 sticks. And it's, it's literally... You have the most fun like... to shy. <laughs> uh, I was like, do I look at it? Is it rude if I look at the dicks? I don't know what the protocol is here. I don't know what I'm doing. And people would walk by and be like, hey. Everyone was super nice. But I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> that's what a book should have been like wow <laughs> these squishy mushrooms I wonder what their shape is supposed to you know you know, evoke in me girl I remember at some point I was like hey Ivan do you want to get some lemonade and we turned around and there was just like four dudes just jerking off on the side of the road and I'm like Andrea would have loved that because it's, because it's, <laughs> it's also like it was performative masturbation though like they, they took like Viagra to just have erections all day, but they weren't actually trying to like. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. <clears throat> Things to it look was at. Just like, see, not safe for work, oh. y'all. Don't look it up. Don't <laughs> I looked at I looked at some of the pictures. They're really cool though. It seems like the it seems cool. If that's like your kind of shit, that's fine because that's you know as long as you're over there and I mean, you're again, you know that's some, like nice there yeah. but still it caught me off guard because I'm like ooh street fair. I'm thinking farmers market. I think I'm thinking I'm gonna buy some like. Handmade scarves. You went down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Bueno, internet. That right. was our internet. hangout. 50th episode. Woo. 50 shades of Alice in Wonderland. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're like just like too old to get it, guys. No. <laughs> no. 
if the if one of us would have liked it. Yeah, and it if probably would have been me. It, then <laughs> it means that it's unequivocally bad. I yeah, oh. I understand and I accept your judgment. Uh, because see you guys you know, later on in the month. Huh? And if that huh? one of us likes it, it means that it is good. For example, peste objectively good because one of us <laughs> <laughs> look at her how she weaves her story i yeah, should have known better that this year is a famine no we're famine not reading that fucking Damn shit it. we're not reading you it can't control my book pick she's true i mean she's I can, right this is I just gonna turn into like we're just gonna top each other not in a sexy way <laughs> 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 goodbye internet See you next month. We're reading Red, White, and Royal Blue. Read along if you want. We never announce when we're going to be on YouTube, though. It's like after we'll the fact. we do it at some point in the next three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> and it's a short month, so we'll see. Adios. Yeah. Bye.